Hey guys, my name is Jimmy Milligan, and I'm here today to help fund the future in honor of three amazing warriors who are fighting or have fought breast cancer. Kristen Gentile, Angela Gray, and my second mother, Betty Ann Decky. We want to let you guys know we love you, we're here for you, and you amaze us every day. This is my song, We Gotta Go. Enjoy. South on the Jersey Turnpike, running away from New York City. Had a time of my life there with you. Today, you know, you're dancing on the lights. Everything was just so right. And I don't know if that city's ever shine so bad. But we gotta go. We got a thousand miles to try. City life's highway, and we'll be alright. Oh, we gotta go. So far to go, baby, we will make it. We just drive. We stood on the top of the Empire State, and it was cold as heaven. With the fire of the love that burned inside, I cared to swarm her through the night. I held your hand, ooh, as we drove through Times Square. Maybe did a few my favorite on work. I never tell. We gotta go. We got a thousand miles to drive. City lights, highway, and we'll be alright. Oh, we gotta go. You and me, we got so far to go, baby. I don't know what's on that road or where it's gonna lead. Oh, I know it's so much better when you're next to me. to go, baby, we will make it. Heading south on the Jersey Turnpike, running away from a New York City. Had a time of my life there with you today. Here we are, all dressed in pink with our game faces on in a different world with the same mission, to defeat breast cancer. Because we won't allow our fight to be sidelined, ever. This year, together, may change. But even if we're apart, we'll always stay united. We'll rally and we'll fundraise wherever we are, coming back louder and stronger than ever against breast cancer. Because what unites us ignites us. And once we're fired up, we won't back down. No way, no how. That fire is what keeps us in the fight. Raising money to fund new breast cancer research, providing 24-7 support for cancer patients, and giving access to life-saving screenings. So yes, this year might look different, but we still need you to join us. Because together, we've changed the face of breast cancer. And our progress won't be put on pause. It can't. So rally with us and fundraise with us. The future is a world free from breast cancer. And that future is in our hands. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Virtually United. I'm your host, Gina Gana from 6ABC, and I'm so excited to be here with my co-host, Ilya Garcia, as we unite in the fight against breast cancer. 
Virtually. Hi, Ilya. So great to see you. We know this is different from years past, but it's so happy that we can come together for this important cause. Hola, Gina. Es un honor estar con ustedes hoy. I am so honored to host this year's event with you. As Gina mentioned, I am Ilya García of Univision 65. Bienvenidos a todos en español. Although this year is unlike any other Making Strides Against Breast Cancer events that we've done in the past, we know that cancer hasn't stopped. So neither will we. El cáncer no se ha detenido y la Sociedad Americana contra el Cáncer y nosotros tampoco. We are so excited to celebrate with you all from our home to yours, hoping you and your loved ones are all safe and healthy. As you can see, I'm joining you from my home here in Philadelphia. Let's hear where you're tuning in from. Use the chat box to tell us your team name and where you make strides. Because of the pandemic, our Making Strides Against Breast Cancer movement looks different this year, but our passion to end breast cancer is still the same. Ilya, normally at the walk, we would be starting our dance party, meeting and hearing from so many incredible survivors who give us so much hope. Gina, you're so right. Although we are not together, tonight is a celebration of our dedicated Making Strides community. Aunque no estamos juntos, esta noche es una celebración. It is about inspiration, hope, and why we need to fund the future of breast cancer. We want to want a future where our loved ones, our children, won't live with the threat of breast cancer. Wherever you are, thank you, thank you for joining us. Gracias por estar con nosotros. As we all know, making strides against breast cancer is more than just a walk. Making strides against breast cancer is a movement. And tonight I'm here because of all of you, to lend my hand, to show support, and to be here to encourage all of you, just like you encourage me, so thank you. The American Cancer Society is relying on us to fund the future. Like you, Gina, my life has been impacted by cancer. My grandmother um, passed away from that and also my mother-in-law. And our passion in the fight against breast cancer is what unites us. Your support is vital to helping cancer patients. COVID-19 is undermining a life-saving fight. The pandemic is disrupting support systems, cancer patients and their caregivers need like rights to treatment, lodging, access, access to care, and it has caused a huge decrease in our research funding. This is why your support is crucial. Necesitamos su ayuda para mantener apoyo crítico y recursos disponibles durante esta crisis. Text MAKING STRIDES to 44321 or scan the QR code on your screen to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Every donation can help breast cancer patients right now. Ilya, every dollar makes a difference. Breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed among U.S. women. So being a part of the Making Strives movement, you ignite a passion to support breast cancer survivors and unite as a community. Tag us on your social media with the hashtag virtually united to join us in the movement. We have two of the most passionate and dedicated Making Strides participants joining us right now. Let's welcome two of our top fundraisers, Sherry Calabrese from Making Strides in Ocean City, New Jersey, and Sharonda Jones from Making Strides in Philadelphia. Thank you for being with us, Sherry and Sharonda. Thank you. Ladies, you're both longtime supporters of the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Movement, and like all of us, have a personal connection to cancer. So tell us why you make strides. Sherry, we'll start with you. I make strides for the 180 names on the back of my t-shirt that I personally know have had <laughs> breast cancer. It all started with my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my best friend, Chris, and I'm not going to stop until I find a cure. Thank you for that. Sharonda, why do you participate in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer movement? The reasons why the Pink Eagles have participated in Making Strides Against Breast Cancer walks is because our family has been affected tremendously by the disease. My Aunt Kim, my grandmother Helen, my sister Michelle, and my mother Vanessa have all been diagnosed with breast cancer. And my aunt and sister and grandmother all passed away from it. We decided in 2014 that one way we could honor my sister's memory and educate others was to get involved, raise funds, and educate, educate, educate women against this horrible disease. Thank you so much. You 
both have done such an amazing job with your fundraising efforts, especially during a pandemic. You have reached pay setter status, which means you have raised 2,500 or more for the American Cancer Society each year. Congratulations. Sherry, what is your favorite fundraiser? Give our audience some fun and innovative ideas. I actually have two that come to mind. The first one is I had yard signs made. They are called Jolly Jug Yard Signs. And what I would do is I would go to a neighborhood um, of someone's choice and post them in a person's yard, and then they would have to pay $25 to have the yard signs removed and placed on someone else's yard. And the second one was we did a corks for a cure. So at a local winery, we rented a winery and for $25 a ticket, you received wine tastings, appetizers, desserts, music, door prizes. It was just a great way for everybody to get together so we could educate them about breast cancer and hopefully find a cure. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sharonda, any advice for folks who want to become a pay setter? Absolutely. My advice would be to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to do new things or be spontaneous. Make sure you post and email, send people text messages, reminder messages. Um, for me, I have what I call fundraiser days, fundraiser fun days, where I'll post something and I'll say, the first 10 people who donate $35 can have their name entered to win a $50 gift card. Sometimes in order to make money, you have to spend a little money, and I have no problem doing that. And it has had a tremendous effect on my fundraising. Thank you, Sharonda and Sherry, for sharing your paysetter stories with us. It's not too late to follow in Sharonda and Sherry's lead to become a paysetter. Your support is vital to helping cancer patients. We must fund the future of cancer, where more cures mean more lives saved. Text Making Strides to 44321 or scan the QR code on our screen to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Every donation can help breast cancer patients right now. Ilya, two extraordinary ladies who are committed to fight against breast cancer. So much pink power. And we love their dedication and they give us some great fundraising ideas. Muchas gracias, ladies. When I'm speaking of fundraising ideas, we're excited because we'll be announcing the winner of the Pink Condo Getaway Challenge later tonight in our program. One lucky participant who fundraised the most in early September will be winning a weekend stay in Ocean City. Next, we are thrilled to welcome our national survivor partner, Zita Tov Alpha. Normally, the ZTA ladies would be at both walks in our survivor tents, cheering on our survivors and raising the energy at our events. This year, the crew wanted to honor our survivors in their own way. So please give it up for Zeta Toe Alpha. energy once again, Zeta Tau Alpha. We can't wait to see you next year in the survivor tent. Breast cancer is still the second leading cause of cancer death in women. Numerosos estudios han demostrado que la detección temprana salva vidas y aumenta las opciones de tratamiento. Por eso, Univision 65 se une a la campaña Amate a ti misma de la Sociedad Americana contra el Cáncer para ofrecerte una mamografía gratis. Para hacer su cita y obtener más información, llame al 1-800-227-2345. Up next, we'll meet two breast cancer survivors. Their stories are full of hope and strength. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, it was a huge shock. 
But luckily for me, I had a great support system of family and friends. My mom was there for me every step of the way. Being diagnosed with cancer as a single mom, it was certainly a journey, especially during chemotherapy. It was hard because she couldn't play with me. We knew we could always rely on the American Cancer Society if she needed a ride to her chemotherapy. They made it known that they were available to help us with that. Don't go through it alone. There are many people that will support you. The American Cancer Society is there 24 seven. There's a toll free number. All you need to do is reach out and they will match you with someone. However I responded to treatment is how my seven year old daughter would respond to difficult things when she got older. My mom is a good mommy because she never gave you that. I was diagnosed in August and one of the first things that I wanted to do was to, um, <laughs> she wanted to run a 5K, but I told her, hey, we can start out <laughs> slow, so let's do the walk first. So do what you love, don't stop doing what you love, fight your hardest. Kate's an amazing doctor, Kate is an amazing friend. Um, I think if you know Kate, you know that Kate loves taking care of people. Um, unfortunately, she's the patient, but she's still pushing through, taking care of everyone else, and. She's inspiring other women to let them know that they can get through this too. Um, Steph has been my biggest cheerleader through everything. We don't get to cry. <laughs> um, she's one of the, she's one of the strongest people I know, and without her, I don't think I would be here. Stop crying. <laughs> Joining us now are Charlotte Connor from Making Strides Ocean City, New Jersey of Team Charlotte's Tribe and Dr. Kate Innerfield from Making Strides of Philadelphia of Hashtag Team Kate. Hola amigas, thank you Charlotte and Kate for sharing your stories. We're so happy to have you with us. Thanks for thank you for having us. You both are another reminder of why we joined the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Movement. Dr. Kate, let's start with you. Seeing you at the walk and hearing you say, fight hard, gives so many watching strength and hope. Tell us how did the American Cancer Society help you during a tough time? So the American Cancer Society and the Making Strides Walk specifically were so instrumental in my recovery. At the point that we participated in the walk, I was about at the halfway point in my chemo cycle. And I think when you're in the midst of your treatment, it's really hard to see the victory line and imagine that you're gonna be able to get through this. And at the walk, you're surrounded by women in all facets of their treatment before, during, and after. And especially the fact that the survivors are leading the walk, it really is so inspiring and hopeful that you will be at a different point in your life and your treatment and you will succeed and be able to beat this because you've seen so many other women that you're surrounded by in this event that who have conquered this disease process. And the donations that we were able to raise um, for making strides, they go directly to the American Cancer Society. And those donations and funds goes directly to cancer research. The When you have a diagnosis like breast cancer, the one thing is that you don't want anyone else to ever have to go through a similar experience. And the best way to make that possible is funding research so that one day we'll have a cure so that no one else will have to go through this. Thank you, thank you. Um, you look great, your energy is so contagious and it's just an honor to have you here with us today. Um, Charlotte, you talked about the support you received from Strides and how you never felt alone. Tell us more about that. Sure, so I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 30 years old. And while my family and friends were super supportive, um, none of them had gone through what I was going through. So uh, when I attended the walk last year, I was amazed by the sea of pink and all of the breast cancer survivors. And Strides gave me hope uh, by giving me the opportunity to meet other breast cancer survivors and see women that um, had been in my shoes and we're currently living ha healthy, happy lives. Um, that gave me a lot of hope. It's amazing when I think that people should, everybody should go to these walks because the the message of hope and strength, we all feel so empowered uh, when we leave uh, the event. But ladies, do you have an encouraging message for our viewers today? I'm sure you do. And Dr. Kate, why don't we start with you? I think that 
like to your point, there's so much more hope regarding the treatment and your prognosis. Breast cancer is becoming a much more treatable illness. We have so many advances in the forms of hormone therapy, surg surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, alternative treatments that more and more women are beating breast cancer every day. And so have hope and faith that you will get through this experience and you will be on the other side. And when everything around you seems like it's uncontrollable, which it often does with cancer, choose how you respond to the circumstances because that's where the power is and choose to respond with positivity and strength because that's what will help you get through this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Charlotte, what is your message? Sure. Um, to my fellow survivors, especially those that have been recently diagnosed, I just want to say, never give up. You can get through this. And please know that the American Cancer Society will be there for you every step of the way. Also, thank you to the supporters um, for all of your dedication um, and commitment to this cause. Please continue to fund the future. Um, I know for me, my motivation has always been my daughter. Come here. Um, especially now as we continue to fund the future so that breast cancer can one day um, not be an issue for the next generation. Thank you. You both are really an inspiration to all of us. You've helped us realize that we're not alone in the fight against breast cancer. Thank you for joining us today. And gracias, muchas gracias por todo. Let's give Charlotte and Kate some love on social media. Leave a heart react if you're a survivor. Leave a thumbs up if you are a caregiver. Comment below how many years you've been a survivor. Dr. Kate, Charlotte, and all of our survivors are the reason we must continue to fund the future. Text making strides to 44321 or scan the QR code on your screen to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Every donation can help breast cancer patients right now. We want to make sure a future where our loved ones, your children, won't live with the threat of breast cancer. Don't forget to keep tagging us on your social media with the hashtag virtually united. But next, we'd like to welcome some of our biggest supporters, our 2020 Making Strides flagship sponsors. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jim G. I'm the president, general manager of RK Chevrolet in Violin, New Jersey. In June of 2012, my wife Sandy was diagnosed with breast cancer. Sandy was able to participate in that year's walk, but shortly after that, in March of 2013, Sandy lost her battle to breast cancer. Sandy wanted us to continue her fight by raising money and awareness with hope of finding a cure for this disease. Atlantic Medical Imaging has partnered with the American Cancer Society for over a decade because we know that early detection will save lives. And we want to eliminate every excuse that a woman has to not get screened. For the past 22 years, South Jersey Radiology Associates has supported making strides against breast cancer to promote early detection. We hope to dance with more and more survivors every year. Thank you to all of our flagship sponsors for your continued support and team efforts. We'd also like to take this time to recognize our national presenting sponsors, Avon. Avon has been helping women look and feel their best for 134 years. Avon representatives, customers, and team members are a force for good in promoting women's health. Since 2018, Team Avon and its nearly 11,000 supporters have participated in making strides against breast cancer events across the country, raising more than 1.3 million for the American Cancer Society. Since the launch of the Avon Breast Cancer Crusade in 1992, Avon has contributed more than $800 million to breast cancer health causes. And united with the American Cancer Society, we can do so much more. Wow, that is truly, truly incredible. Thank you for all of your support, Avon. And speaking of some of our top players, it's time to announce the winner of our Pink Holiday Getaway Challenge. The winner will receive a free weekend trip this December in Ocean City, New Jersey, to enjoy the holiday festivities all around town. And the winner is Cherry Calabrese. <laughs> Congratulations, Cherry. A weekend in Ocean City is the perfect getaway. We were lucky enough to meet you at the beginning of the program and so, so happy to see you are the winner. La ganadora. It's so exciting. Congratulations, Cherry. She definitely deserves a relaxing getaway. The Making Strives movement is about hope. 
We hope for a world without cancer. We may not know how long this will take, but we see the advances the American Cancer Society helps bring in research that will help prevent and detect the disease early on every day. We see the lives that we are helping to improve. Tonight, we remember that cancer cannot defeat us. Let's dim the lights for a few moments as we honor our loved ones touched by breast cancer in this year's Garden of Hope ceremony.
Thank you to everyone who dedicated a tribute to your loved ones touched by breast cancer. That was such a beautiful and moving ceremony. Text MAKING STRIDES to 44321 or scan the QR code on your screen to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Every donation can help breast cancer patients right now. Next up, we want to introduce our Real Men Wear Pink candidates, a dedicated group of men who are committed to attacking cancer from every angle and saving more lives from breast cancer. Listen closely. I think you're going to recognize this famous Philadelphia voice. I'm Earl Reese, and Real Men Wear Pink. This year, more than 276,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. But did you know that more than 2,600 men will also be diagnosed? That's why this October, I'm joining the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. This distinguished group of community leaders and influencers in the Philadelphia area are going pink to help raise awareness and funds for breast cancer research. Every dollar raised helps the American Cancer Society save lives from breast cancer through early detection and prevention, innovative research, and patient support. Cancer does not discriminate, and that's why we are united in pink, proudly standing together because real men wear pink. Support the Real Men Wear Pink campaign by donating today. Real Men Wear Pink. You are so right, Gina. I do recognize that voice. We all know Meryl Reese's voice when we hear it. He is a well-known sports radio announcer here in Philly. We love his play-by-play -play during the Eagles games. How awesome is it that Meryl Reese is a Real Men Wear Pink candidate? Thank you to Meryl and all of our Real Men Wear Pink participants for all that you do in the fight against cancer. Don't forget to keep tagging us on your social media with the hashtag virtually united to join us in the movement. Next, please welcome Samar Khan, our local researcher's ambassador from Fox School of Business at Temple University. She's here to tell us how your fundraising dollars are crucial right now more than ever before to help our women in research get us another step closer to a cure for cancer. Hi, I'm Samar Khan, a researcher's ambassador for the American Cancer Society. Across the nation, the Researchers Women Fighting Cancer campaign raises money to fuel the work of some of the most innovative women-led cancer research. But it's more than just a fundraising campaign. Researchers is a movement, a sisterhood of purpose determined to sustain women-led cancer research and recognize the female trailblazers in the field. We all know that research is at the heart of the American Cancer Society mission. But our 100-year mission to save lives is being compromised. COVID-19 will reduce our funding of cancer research by 50% in 2020, if current trends continue, the lowest investment this century. Imagine the next idea in colon or breast cancer research that needs your support right now. Cancer patients can't afford for research to be placed on hold. There is no time to wait. We must be bolder, braver and stronger than ever before. On behalf of the millions of cancer patients who will fight today and tomorrow, thank you for supporting the American Cancer Society. Thank you so much, Samar. You are an inspiration to all. Wow, what a night. We had so much fun with all of you and we can't believe we're at the end of our program. We have seen how the American Cancer Society continues to support cancer patients and their families and they've been doing it for over 107 years. Let's not let COVID-19 stop any of that work. If you have already donated, thank you for your support. If you haven't, please do it now. Text Making Strides to 44321 or scan the QR code on your screen to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Every donation can help breast cancer patients right now. It's simple, secure, and fast, and so, so important. Ilya, it has been so great reuniting with you for our Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Virtually United. It has been so great connecting with all of the incredible and passionate Making Strides participants. Amiga, it has been wonderful, wonderful to spend time with you and our Making Strides community. Ha sido un placer estar con todos ustedes. Muchas gracias por todo. Thank you to everyone for joining us and a big thank you to everyone who made this show possible. We need all of you to help us find a cure and fund a future. 
Yes, thank you for all the amazing folks who helped put this program together. Thanks for making strides against breast cancer in 2020. And we can't wait to see you all in person next year. Stay well and thank you. Bye everyone. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. Fund the future. Fund the future. Fund the future. Fund the future for me. Fund the future Fund the for our sister. sister. Fund my future. Fund the future for my mom. Financiar el futuro para mi mamá. Fund the future for my grandma. Fund the future for my auntie. Fund the future. Fund the future for me. Fund the future for me. Fund the future for me. For me. For me. For me. For me. For me. Thank you.